Hi, hello everyone. Um, thank you for having me here. Um, so I'm from Sydney, from Calvary in Kokra. And today I'd like to share with you the project that I've been doing the last 18 months. Uh, all started by patients and working together with a relative who's Enso, um, who is the initial creator of all this happening. So with the MND, as everyone here know, they not able to speak and not able to move their arm, revenge some of them, but they maintain high level of cognitive ability. They got lots and lots to say, but what we've got in the market and what N, the daughter, gone through looking for um, uh, uh, effective communication tools to help her mom to speak was either a high-tech system that I gave ten to twenty thousand dollars or low-tech system even with the iPad quite a few hundred dollars and with the app it all add up into quite a few four or five hundred dollars altogether and also that is more for someone who can actually know English who know how to spell and who know how to type so when there are two different languages all in the same times, there's nothing suitable. And the reason why we're looking for it, because that is the actual Mrs. So on the, uh, on the left-hand side of the picture, or your right-hand side, that by the time I saw her, she's not able to make this smile anymore, but her person inside stayed the same. So we have a situation of a Chinese daughter who not able to, um, born in Australia, not able to read or write Chinese. Even to speak is a struggle, but her mother cannot read or write English either. Her mother did not really have um, MND, she has some um, supernuclear palsy, but by the time we have her in our clinic, she already have the same similar symptoms, difficulty as MND patient who difficulty with um, speech. So the reason why we're doing this is because her mom, she, the daughter is completely devoted to mom. 24 seven, quit her job, look after her day and night, but not able to know what her mom's thinking, not able to, to give what moms want. Her mom continued to make deep noises, thinking she's saying things, but no one can understand her at the end, and she got really, really frustrated. So, being a 30, 40 something years old, using an iPad all the time, we're thinking of pages by pages in a folder, we put things on the paper and it kind of developed into a folder and we put that folder into a into an iPad, become button. That's how all this idea come from. So what this can do is all cover all three areas, is for writing, is for through pictures and also through voices. So if they have any one of the three, they can still communicate. And this one, the most advantage is that they can customize in their own topic and in their own voice. Because this one, the big point is they record their own voice before they lose it. And it's simple to use because there is another big thing. A lot of um, apps that currently in the market is very quite complex to, to learn and it requires go, go through quite a few different process to make it happen. So what we make it easy, while having Mrs. So trying, um, we just make it in two pages. One is a topic, so she picked the topic she wants to, is in her mind, and the faces. That we put it in Chinese writing, so she can understand, Mrs. So can understand. We put it in English, in the middle, so the daughter can understand what her mom is trying to say and also in the pictures, something at home that her mom recognized is um, that she can register as a uh, when her eyesight is not that good. So simply, it's page one for the topic and page two for the faces, and that is how we find out what she wants to say and want to talk. And from my perspective as a nurse, by the time I get to her, she already very, very limited Mostly, but she has so much that she wants to talk about that from a daughter, she not, wasn't able to express to her daughter a lot of care, expects, and, um, and through that I can see her daughter trying very hard, increase button by button, topic by topic, 
that Mrs. So actually now able, able to control which bill need to pay next week, the reminder dollar, because that's how she was doing all her life. She was able to tell, say she's concerned about her brothers have an investment just um, had last week, and she's not too sure about that. She was able to express that through this app. And also I was able to find out how what Mrs. So really feeling being, being so trapped in her body, but in the same time, what is she's fear of that the daughter not able to ask her being a daughter. They love going out. They go out every day. Also, all the color coordinated clothing and braces. In the same, so in the in the without the apps time, the daughter need to pick out all different matches, clothing and braces and jewelries and pants to out and for her to choose. And by the process takes so long, and Mrs. So was quite tired at the end, and the going out become a not as enjoyable. Enjoyable. And for the app, there is app for the color and which one to use. Each braces, uh, each jewelry will have a picture, so she just knock on it because her hand was getting weaker and weaker. And also, I am able to have a conversation about where she want to care for and where she want to die. And she both wanted to be at home. And the daughter had time to get ready, prepare herself and prepare her home. So she had a very, very peaceful death at home. One incident the daughter and really want me to share with you is that she re still remember it. Uh, it's over a year ago now that I, um, OT actually went to visit Mrs. So, want to talk about her mobility, the walking uh, standing hoist, how to use it, hospital bed and the pressure area uh, care with the mattress, how to use it, how to perform it and how to assess her. But with the app, what Mrs. So really wanted to know is if she have any children. <laughs> if, what did she do on the weekend? That, to able to, if someone without the app, then she will need to be able to spell it all out in word. That will be quite proven quite difficult for someone who even able to, to type well. But for her, just to type, type on the topic and then press on their faces, she was able to ask that questions. And Karen, being an OT for quite a long time, uh, looking after Anne's, uh, Mrs. So, that she was surprised by Mrs. So. She wasn't expecting this is what her wanted to know. We like, kind of left it at that. Mrs. So died, so does the app just carry in her house. Until a few months later, I received a new referral. A new referral is was a 35 years old mother with MND, came with two baby, less than six months old, crawling around in their house when I was doing the first home visit. She had frail arm from the very beginning, so her arm was already gone by the time she gave birth, so she never hold them, and she never will. And she also losing her voice as well during the conversation, and in the in the, in the house, in her couch, looking at her, I was just thinking is that she's, her baby is not going to remember her voice. That is the only communication they've got. <coughs> her legs are getting weaker, we're getting weaker, and the boys got, her, got their own agenda walking, crawling around the, on the opposite direction. And also, what would it mean, something that I take it for granted, um, to say I love you to my husband, and also thank you, from her own voice, years, months later, when she actually lost her voice for her husband, to hear her voice in her tone. Also having he, the, the tone, her tone and her voice saying, I love you just the day they were married. So I kind of keep thinking and thinking, is that really nothing I could do for her? What can I do? And I thought of the app. So I approached um, Anne again. And um, us saying, is there any chance we can develop it into more popular, um, wider use, and um, give it a go? So by the time I got a sample in my hand, I actually continue as a palliative care nurse in the community. So I look after all the Chinese patients in the community dying and in palliative care. 
And one patient, she's Cantonese speaking, well looked after by family, but she is dying. And she can, she, her wish was not to die at home. So we need to get her into Calvary inpatient. She's not able to, with the brain mat, she's not really able to express herself in Chinese either. But she's able to, with observation, when you know her well, when you spend the time, you can tell when she blink her eyes, when she her body language, her facial expression, you can tell she can understand you in Chinese when the son was communicating with her very gently. So I went home the night before she went into the hospital. I put the app out and just put 12 faces that mostly being a nurse will say in the ward. For example, I am your nurse, I'll be, I'm here to look after you in a bilingual version. So it's mainly is for the patients to able to understand and the nurse is able to tell the patients what she's about to do. So I'm here to, to um, give you a bad sponge. So she being as someone who not knowing English at all, so she wouldn't feel someone just come and take my clothes off. Even there was some voices come beforehand, but she had no, she wouldn't understand. But through the app, the 12 faces, if she's in pain, that was the reason why I continue to develop this. So this is a video to how, we, how it works. Once you have loaded the app, tap the SOTOR button. The app opens to the topic screen. Each of these yellow boxes represents a conversation topic. You can tap the arrows on the bottom of the screen to scroll to the next page or return to the previous page. Or you can swipe. When I tap on the conversation topic, the screen of vocabulary options related to the topic appears. So, when I tap on the please help make me comfy topic, the blue vocabulary boxes appear. When you tap on a word, such as air conditioner, the vocabulary box explodes and the audio of the word is spoken. Air conditioner. Just to make sure we're focusing on a correct word. Tap anywhere on the screen to return to the page you're at. Try out different topics and words to familiarise yourself with how the so talk app works. These are instructions for changing or adding conversation topics and vocabulary in your so talk app. Think of so talk as a template which enables you to customise and populate with conversation topics and vocabulary that are useful to you. <laughs> if you want to change or add a conversation topic using the yellow boxes, tap the edit button on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. You can see you're in edit mode when crosses appear against each box. So if I want to rephrase the going out topic and call it outings instead, I need to key in the word outings. Adjust the font size by one. Then I tap the update button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen to save the change. I can also add a new topic by tapping the plus button on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. If I want to call my new topic books, I key in the word books. I add a picture of books either from my photo library or I can take a new photo. Tap the save button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen to save the new topic of books. Here is a new topic of books. So this is more, that is how it works um, for changes and add and edit anything you want in your own voice. Um, it also go into, you can tell it's 12 boxes. It got options to down to two, up two boxes only. I tried it on some um, patients for just yes and no to start with, especially someone with stroke. They can't really control quite well. And, um, and then we've got different languages and all different languages will be, what we've got now is Chinese, Arabic, Japanese and French. And considering um, Chinese itself got over 200 dialect, 
that really is what you want it to be. Um, how your family wording um, used to say that you add it in yourself. So it does need a holder. Um, that works better, but so does anyone who used the iPad. And the feedback so far, they found it appealing. And the, it's just another option for patients to, to use. Uh, also, um, the staff would like it. It's, it's good to know that it's here. We put it in the drawer. The patient's able to do that through their admission. What we, the limitation is the patients need to be comfortable with the iPad. So far, we only got able to able to get on the apples, no Android yet. And um, the family need to be supportive to do it together because it can be quite daunting by the 20th time to change the word. What we're planning for it is this is what we is to download the app through Apple Store and purchase for about $30. The reason why we charge is because we want to use the money that's purchased to be go back to somewhere with MND and MSA as a charity. So it could continue with just a little bit of everybody who affected. And really, this is just a tool to connect everybody uh, without any cultures or languages barrier, and hope this will help. And um, we put most of the video in YouTube, and, um, and this website should be start and running soon. Thank you.